Hi, Cancer. Happy June. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I think this reading has some change in store for you. Okay, um, I'm going to say for some of you, it's much needed change. For some of you, it's a change in lifestyle. For some of you, it's change that you didn't deem so important, but now you do. Um, it's a mixed bag in here, but I think for some of you too, I think you've got um, friendships, new relationships that come out of the blue, and I think they are fated. So entertain them, even if they're not, you know, your normal uh, whatever. I think you may see people in new eyes too, like, wow, this person just sat down and was willing to listen to me out of the clear blue and you know I I knew this person forever but I never just you know someone extends some kindness to you and I think that it forms a really great friendship here it may be someone too that has feelings for you but just never mentioned them before and now they see you might be going through something um, so you're gonna see what they're really made of and they have been there all along I, I feel um, but Again, I think that it's faded, so it may have been a timing thing, right? Um, well, it was a timing thing. We come in with the energy of the Four of Coins. Okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups. Your advice card is the Page of Coins. What works against you is the Three of Cups. We've got the Death card and the Ace of of cups okay for some of you like I say I think new relationships come out of the blue it could be new relationships that you're in currently it could be new types of relationships that you're in currently um, for some of you though I feel like you are really really stressed and I think that before I even threw the cards your message was you need a timeout you need some tranquility you need some Zen time maybe go you know do something for yourself that recharges you I think that someone in your surroundings it could be at work it could be wherever but I think that you've got someone in your um, surroundings that is really really just uh, exhausting you I think that you're feeling like you're needing to go head-to-head -head with them consistently and you're needing to explain yourself I want to say though I think that that is on you I think that you need to know your limit you know what I mean? Say your piece and then shut it down. Because I think you're engaging with someone here that's just not going to see. You're not on, you're not in the same place. You're not going to see, you're not going to get your point across. You know what I mean? It could be someone that just doesn't want to hear what you have to say. Either way, it's taking a toll on you. So it's not going to change the situation whether you have a 20-minute conversation or whether you say what you need to say in 10 and then just shut it down. And that's for your own well-being, okay? For some of you, too, I think that if you're feeling a little bit defeated on the career front, know that you're coming into something here, okay? I think um, sometimes we know what we want. There's just, there's really blessed years and there's really sacred times and there's really times when things take off that haven't before. Um, real estate purchases, selling homes, buying things. Um, I think what you're coming into is something that's going to bring you um, a lot of uh, financial stability. You could be invest in reinvesting in something. You could be investing in something. You could be leaving a job and, you know, like taking your uh, pension or your 401k or your savings to put it towards a new business or something like that. You could be doing that. Um, that would be a great thing to do, by the way. Um, you're very, very, uh, that would be a, a, a great thing to do here. Um, again, the Wheel of Fortune, I think that is a faded event. I think it's it's like where I was going with that. There are certain years that are blessed years. There are certain years that we're meant to pull ahead in business. There are certain years that we're meant to pull ahead in relationships. But when we skew those two, we're wondering, why isn't this coming together? I've been working my butt off. It just might not be the time. Now's the time. Relationships, new. Um, some relationships, I'm not going to lie, I think are going out the door here. And that's what I think the frustration is about. I don't feel like it's 
something where you're going to be on the same page with someone, period. No matter how bad you exhaust yourself, you're not going to be on the same page with this person. So keep that in mind. For others of you, I think that you've got something in here. You may have a chronic illness in here that lies dormant until you're really, really stressed brings it front and center. It may be something like that that you pull out of remission and it's not needed. So that's, I think, why what's working against you here is that three of cups. You need to know when enough is enough and you need to realize that it's just not worth it. And it's not that it's not worth it or the conversation isn't worth it, but you're not, they're not hearing you. You know what I mean? And, and for whatever reason, they're not hearing you, but you've got people in here. I feel that, um, that want to be in your corner. Those could be new relationships too. They could be new creative ideas. They could be new jobs. They can be new passions. They can be, um, you know, just feeling revived, re-energized, happy. Um, this I feel is, uh, it could be someone to uh, a reunion of some sort. You may see someone you haven't seen in a long time. That's why I say, I feel there's timing in here. I think maybe someone crossed your path a bit ago and it just wasn't the right time. Maybe you were married at the time and now you're divorced and this person comes back around because it's the right divine timing, right? It's something like that too. Could be absolutely something like that too. Now with the death card there at the end and the wheel of fortune, what I want to say here is I think that you take things a little bit more serious now than you have in the past. You know what I mean? We, we push everything to tomorrow, tomorrow, but I think that you realize now that you should have maybe taken something more front and center earlier. Um, and now you're paying it the due that it's needed to, to bring it you know, in whatever direction that it needs to be. The death card is just saying in that spot too, that it's their changes, their changes that need to happen. Um, basically that's it. it. It's change that needs to happen, but I don't feel that everyone is on board here. I think you've got someone too in your surroundings and it could be the same person or it could be someone different. It's going to apply to all of you differently. It's a general reading, but you've got someone who is a, good person. They're genuinely a good person, but there's something, one of their idiosyncrasies just defeats all of that. It's like it, it really just, <laughs> it casts a shadow over all their great qualities, this one idiosyncrasy. And it may just be the fact that, you know, they're a good person. They're a happy person when nothing needs to be really discussed, but when something needs to be discussed, it's like they're the, the, they're not, it, you see a different side of them. They're not the same person. They, they don't want to engage. They don't want to hear things. It could be something like that too, but either way, it could be something in your, you know, in your job where no matter what you do, this person is just, you know, they, they have, uh, It could be someone, too, that really just has severe mood swings. Like, they'll say something and then get over it in two seconds. Meanwhile, you're still standing there holding your coffee with your mouth hanging open because you can't believe what they just said. And yet, they're long over it. And you're just like, wow, you know, this person was just obnoxious to me. And now they're acting like everything is fine. That's what I mean. It could be a really great person, but there's one idiosyncrasy in there that just leaves you floored. It could be something like that. But your main takeaway from here is your life is changing. I think like-minded people are coming into your sphere. You're really being asked to choose your battles here. Um, shut things down after you've gotten your point across and you realize that it's just, you know, there's nothing more you can say or do. They're just not going to get it. Um, that's what I think it is. I think you've got people in here that may have been here in the past, but never said anything to you. And now you really, um, know how they feel about you. It could be the start of a great relationship. It's a faded relationship with that wheel of fortune and the ace of cups in here. It can also be to that thing that you wanted to do, but it wasn't the right time. Now it's the right time. Okay. I think it's great. The page of coins comes in a lot of times when someone is changing a chapter in their life. You know what I mean? Like they're changing a whole new chapter in their life. They're just starting out fresh in a different direction. That could be what it is too. You could be leaving one job to go, you know, start a business of your own now or to do something else or to go somewhere else or to do something else. Um, either way, 
you find your drop spot here, you recharge, you get your life in a direction that's really great, you minimize stress in here. Um, and again, this is a faded time for you. It's a blessed time for you. Be open to these changes that come in. Um, do things a little bit differently. You know what I mean? If someone um, walks by you that you normally give eye contact to people that uh, deserve it. You know what I mean? Someone that really could have been a great person for you may have been around all this time, but you're just, you just weren't paying attention. Pay attention to the real people that are around you. You know what I mean? So maybe engage in, in something like that. So there you go. Either way, this, this will find you. It's sitting in here for your reading, so it will find you. It's not something you need to go looking for. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you, okay? Thank you so much.